Move along. Got no time for it. You must be Crip's friend. I'll try not to hold that against you. Your name's Maggie. Thanks for coming. She's back. Jesus, what are you doing? It's me. <laughs> what the hell? I missed, didn't I? Don't uh, come in like a bull through the fence next time, you old fool. <laughs> Your friend here managed to get it right. Lightning Maggie Fike. We all thought you were dead. Yes, yeah, so did I. <laughs> Guess you'll be wanting a drink. Oh, Come yeah. on, give me a hand. <laughs> Biggest mistake of my life, not marrying this woman when I had the chance. Yeah, you always did have a colorful memory of things. <laughs> anyway, it's too late now. As you can see, I have gone and hit my prime. Well, I heard what happened with Hickson. Oh. Evil son of a bitch. Where you, uh, where you been all this time? Recovering. Lying low. Couldn't barely get out of bed for six months. And your nephew? Them. Still in jail, as far as I know. Uh, you seen Danny Lee yet? Oh, yeah, I've seen him. Cooking for the Braithwaites now. Guess me and him were done. Well, there's always Marcel. Heard he's not working for Leclerc anymore. Feller's a windbag, but he knows his way around the still. Yeah, maybe. Feels like it'd be much easier for everyone if I just stayed gone. Mm. But life ain't about being easy. I am taking back what's mm. mine. Mm. I need legs, though, and I need muscle. Oh, you'll get that one, this one, and more, I promise you. Two of us already got a nice little business going. Long as you know, won't be pretty. I don't do pretty no more. So uh, what's the buy-in? First things first, I need a cookhouse. What's wrong with this place? Been empty for a while now. No, I need a good basement. I reckon I could try and get one of my old spots back up and running. Bastards seized them all after the raid. You buy me back one of those. I reckon you'll have a fair enough investment. Teach you everything I know. So what you say? Uh, believe me, nobody knows more about moonshine than Maggie. Listen to her. You'll make that back in no time. Come on, the two of you were made for each other. <laughs> All right, then. Partners it is. You meet me back there when you can. We'll work out what else it is we need when we get set up. Uh, can I offer you a ride, Miss Fike? Suppose so. Well, maybe we can stop for a drink on the way. We just had a drink. <laughs> I know. Now I want another one. Some things don't change. My nephew Lamb's still in jail, and Danny Lee and Braithwaite are still taking our customers. You let me know when you're ready to make a move. We shouldn't sit on this too long. All right, well, next on the list is a cook. Can't do much without that. Since Danny Lee sold his soul to the Braithwaites, we've been courting a feller called Marcel. Friend of Cripps used to work as a chef for Jessica Leclerc. But he comes from a long line of French distillers. Seems to know what he's doing. Problem is, another alpha got wind of this and grabbed him. So, let's see some of that muscle Cripps promised me. Enemy 
You. It was Madame Fiker, huh? I knew it. Let's go. Oh, this Sharon Yard. I knew someone would come for me, and I knew that if someone came, it would be Madame Fiker. You know her well. She and I have a history, uh, you could say. Well, a friend of hers is a friend of mine. Did Madame Fiker tell something about me before she asked you to save my life? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Marcel. I was until recently employed by a lady named Madame Leclerc. Perhaps you know her. Until I was kidnapped, that is. They wanted me for my skills as a brasseur. One who makes a l'eau de vie. Uh, uh, moonshine, yes? Wait a minute. I thought you looked familiar. You came to visit Madame Leclerc once with uh, Orly, yes? Oh, you look different now. Your situation has improved, no? I wish I could say the same for myself. Madame Fiker's old hideaways, I see. I have some uh, uh, fond memories here. Excellent. Now, where is Madame Fiker? We have much to discuss. Nephew Lamb's still in jail, and Danny Lee and Braithwaite are still taking our customers. You let me know when you're ready to make a move. We shouldn't sit on this too long. Okay, then. We're gonna need supplies and equipment so we can set up the still and get started with production. We could buy all this, of course, but why would we do that when we can just borrow it? permanently from some of the other moonshiners around here and <laughs> kill two birds with one stone. Time to show these folks that Maggie's back. And back for good. Get out of here! 
I'm gonna be the one that puts you in the ground. Search. Checking for illicit liquor. I wonder what's in the wagon. <laughs> Guess let's see what's in the wagon. Right, just move on. Time's wasting. Move the wagon. Happy to say, we are officially in business. <laughs> Alizy, I will show you the engine room. <laughs> Thank you for your interventions the other day. I was turning into a rather unpleasant experience. <laughs> so here we are. Nice and private. <laughs> for obvious reasons, huh? 
There she is! Uh, our still a beauty, huh? Since I've been told that you are new in the business, I was thinking you might need some friendly mentorship. Illicit distillation is a very unique pursuit. Ah, but what is most important are the ingredients for the mash. The more successful the business is, the better the price we can negotiate for those ingredients. Just as we will, the more unsuccessful our competitors are. But that side of things is more the area of expertise of Madame Fike. Anyway, some of our buyers are very exacting when it comes to tastes and flavors. So we will need to adjust our recipes to the demand of our time. Attention! A stronger alcohol sells for more. As you can imagine, but it also takes longer to produce. So that is something else we will need to uh, balance, huh? Well, that's enough for now. Let's get to work. I have a feeling you are going to learn fast. 